Hello and welcome to day 15 of 28 days of stretching, mobility and yoga. Hope you're well today. So today is the first 15 minute routine, so we've got that extra five minutes for the next seven days. Hopefully we can really reap the benefit of that, having a little bit more time to hold different positions and hopefully release some tension from our currently tight muscles. So we're going to start in a seated position today and I want you to try and get nice and comfortable. So as before, we're going to try and sit in a cross-legged position. If it's really not comfortable, you could sit to the side and we're just going to try and sit nice and tall, resting our hands on top of our knees. That's it. So I just want you to let your shoulders drop. Let the weight of your hands just be held by your knees. Pop a cushion or a towel underneath you if you need a little bit more support and comfort. And then we're going to start to focus on the breath. So we're going to take a nice deep breath in. And then slowly out. And we're just going to focus on taking this breath as slow and deep as we can. Breathing in. And out. And we're just using this as a moment to really connect with the body, slow the breath down, get ready to let that help us relax and ease into each position we're going to do today. Breathing in and out. And then on the next inhale, I just want you to drop your chin down to your chest. Breathing out, looking up to the sky. Inhale, tuck. Legs lean down the back of the neck. Breathing out, looking up to the sky. Just nice and slow and smooth, using your breath to flow from one to the other. And we're going to return to neutral and drop our left ear over towards our left shoulder. As we breathe out, move the right ear over towards our right shoulder. And throughout this, we want to keep the shoulders relaxed, not lifting them to meet the ear. It doesn't matter how far we're going. It's about just trying to lengthen down the sides of the neck. Releasing some tension from our tight neck and shoulders. One more breath, one way and then the other. Coming back up to neutral. And then we're going to turn to look over our left shoulder as we breathe in. And then looking over our right shoulder. To the left. time each way. And again, we'll be returning to neutral. And we're going to start to get the shoulders moving. So as we breathe in, we're going to bring the shoulders all the way up towards the ears and out, releasing it back down. Inhale, lift up, breathing out to release. We're going to start drawing circles with the shoulders. So we're going to come up and forward all the way round and back. So you're just trying to draw as big a circle as you can. Hopefully nothing hurts as it crunches. If you're finding you're pushing it too far, just smaller the circle again. One more in this direction and then we're going to reverse the path. So going back, up, and over. Maybe this feels easier, maybe there's less crackling and crunching. Again, just working within what feels good to your body today. One more. We'll be bringing it back down to neutral, just dropping the shoulders down. 
and then we're going to start moving from the hips for our nice big circles like we did the other other day so we're going to come down bring the chest towards your left leg bringing it in front of you taking it to the right and then just opening up as much as your back allows a little bit of stretch as you come round. that's it Notice how your body changes, how it feels, depending where you are in the movement. Really take your time, nice and slow and deliberate, trying to make it as smooth as possible. Nice big circle. And one more time all the way around. So follow the same path and then going back, opening up, coming round to the right side and to the front and to the left. Just keep going as if we're unravelling what we just ravelled up. Slow, deep breath in, gently releasing. One more time, all the way round. And we're going to come back into that seated position, sitting as tall as we can, drawing the crown of the head to the sky. Nice deep breath in. And out. Sliding the legs away, straight out in front of you, toes up, and then just sitting nice and tall. Good, drawing your left knee in towards you, squeezing it as close as you can. That's it, good. We're just going to open up a little bit through the left, so we're just rotating as far as the hip can to the left. Gently squeezing it so it's not, we're not getting a great amount of tension here. We're just opening up through the hip. One more time. Good, extending that left leg away. And we're going to hug that right knee up and in. We're getting it nice and comfortable first. And then just gently opening up through the right hip. Nice little rotation. It's not the biggest of movements, but hopefully you'll feel the difference in your hip as you do it. And one more time. Lovely, straighten that right leg back out. We're going to take it into a little fold, but we're really going to take our time. So we're just going to creep it down, slowly slide our fingertips down towards our feet. Just get to that point where you can feel the bite, you can feel the stretch, and just hold it there. So I really don't want you to force it to that point where it feels uncomfortable. You're just gonna to start to feel that lengthen. And then coming back up, nice and tall. And then we slide down again. Use the breath. And just reach that point again. Slowly slide back up. And again, sliding down. Hopefully with each breath, we're just going a little bit further. Just starting to ease some of the tension down the back of the legs and lower back. And again, one more sliding down into that fold. And back. Fantastic. Well done. We're just going to bring ourselves around now into our child's pose. So, again, Take the time to make yourself nice and comfortable. If you need to have a little blanket or pillow to sit on, this is the time to get that in position. And then we're just going to very slowly slide our fingertips forward, resting our forehead down. And we need to pop a pillow under the forehead. Big breath in.
Bye again. Then we're gonna take both hands across to the left side. So you're really lengthening through the right side of your body. Taking it across to the right side, so you can feel the length of the other side of the left side. And then coming back to the centre. Slowly sliding back up. We're just going to bring it into a seated stretch reach to the sky. So fingertips just interlacing the fingers, pointing up towards the ceiling. That's it. And then across to the left side. And across to the right. Bringing the hands back down. We're just going to get a nice gentle twist and rotation. So just bringing both hands to the outside of your left leg, twisting your whole body to look over your left shoulder. Gently release and then looking over the right shoulder. Nice twist through the body. gently release back into the center and I want you just to pop your hands behind your head interlace the fingers make sure you're not pushing on the head you're just gently resting them behind still trying to sit up as tall as you can and I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together so your elbows draw back and then release back inhale elbows go back opening up across the chest Breathing out to release that tension. Inhale, squeeze. And out to release. Inhale, really lift through the chest. Exhale, release. This time we're going to bring our arms out to the side. Inhale, reach the fingertips as far back behind us as you can. And then back. Inhale, lift through the heart space, open up across the chest. And back. One more, just like that, breathing in, opening up. And release. Bringing your arms back down to rest on your legs, sitting up nice and tall. Here. And then gently bringing it forward into our tabletop position, making sure our weight is level and balanced across our hands and our knees. Take a nice deep breath in, bringing it into cat, opening up into cat. Two more, just taking it all in your own time. And one more. Coming back into tabletop and then sitting back onto the heels. Gently drop your forehead down. We're going to finish in extended child pose today. Just returning our focus back to the breath, taking it nice, slow, and deep. With every exhale, just trying to release tension from the body. Hope you enjoyed this.
this nice chill introduction to our 15 minute long meetings. And I'll be back tomorrow with another 15 minutes.